In this video, I want to show you how we made in excess of £100,000 from a little two-bedroom house in Birmingham by turning it into an executive four-bedroom home. If you're new to the channel, my name is Saj Hussain and I've been investing in property for about 15 years now and on this channel I share with you my knowledge and experience to ultimately help you get further faster in your property investing journey. Now this particular house, we did a video earlier on so you can see what it looked like before we started work and we'll put a link to that here. And if you're enjoying these type of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on the bell notification so that you get notified when we're releasing videos like this. So let's have a little walk through the house so I can show you what we've done and how we've created this house the way that we have. So we're in the kitchen right now, which is built in this extension. So on this original house, that space over there is where the house ended. There was a small bathroom there and a little kitchen before that. So what we've done, we've demolished all this part, built this huge extension here so we can house this uh, kitchen. And ultimately it's about trying to create space for modern living. These houses are about a hundred years old, but when they were built, they weren't really built for the way that we live today. So it's about adapting these houses and making them much more desirable for uh, a modern family today. So we've got this huge extension, as I said, we've got a bathroom downstairs here. It's essentially a wet room. And also we've created a, a bay space here, a bay window, which is pushed out slightly. So to give a space to be able to put a dining table in as well. The appliances are fitted, such as a cooker, uh, the oven, the dishwasher, washing machine. And we've left a space for a large American fridge, should somebody want to put one there. And really it's about creating neutral but modern colors. So we've used dark and light grays throughout the property and lots of white uh, as well and, and reflective surfaces as well. It also bounces the lights up. Huge number of spotlights in the property in the ceiling, which gives great lighting and also with dimmer switches. Make sure we're using good quality switches, nice chrome finishes and all of these things make the house look and feel much nicer. If you think about when we're trying to sell a house like this, the buyers are going to be in this property maybe 15 minutes at the very most and they're going to be making a decision of what four, four hundred and fifty thousand pounds potentially a significant spend and they're making that decision in a few minutes so my job and the way i see it with a property like this we've got to make it look as perfect as we possibly can to make that buying decision easy for them so when this property is listed on the market as it's just going on now the intention is it will literally sell within a few days. There'll be a number of people that'll be interested in it. And so if I can get this bit right, it makes the estate agent's job so much easier. So originally this house started off as a two bedroom house. It had two uh, bedrooms upstairs and it had a small bathroom uh, upstairs as well. Then at some point the bathroom was moved downstairs into a little extension which was just over uh, here in front of me and that's what we've demolished and we've replaced it with this bigger one. So we also converted the loft space to create a huge room up there which is essentially the master bedroom uh, with beautiful views uh, across the area and also a family bathroom up there as well. So we started off in the first reception room, now, now we're at the back of the house and we've got a lounge in between the two rooms, so let's go on through to there. So in the house, we've maximized literally every inch of space we possibly can to make it much more spacious than it originally was as it started off life as only a two bedroom 
house. Now we have the two reception rooms, the one at the front, this one here. We've got the double doors opening up into the kitchen diner, enough space there for a dining table. And we've also got a basement in this house, which we've now uh, cleaned up, dried out, got heating and lighting down there, running water down there as well. So it, you, there's plenty of choice, whether it's used as an office, a hobby room, a utility room, whatever you'd like to use in the basement, there's enough space there. And then the four bedrooms now we've got, which was the three rooms on the first floor, as well as the, the attic room, the loft room that we've created uh, up there means it's a much more desirable house and works for modern living with the four bedrooms, three bathrooms, two reception rooms, large kitchen diner, as well as the basement. Make sure you watch all the way to the end because I'm gonna share with you the numbers, what we paid for this property, what we're selling it for, and how we've managed to create so much profit. When we're purchasing properties to renovate and sell on, the end product is quite different from say, for example, what we do in a HMO. But at the same time, we still apply the 15 odd years of learning that we've had from doing many, many projects over the years to try and create a product that's gonna be desirable. So right now we are in the bedroom at the front of the house on the first floor, the master bedroom is above us. But actually just in this particular space, because it was quite a spacious room, we built an ensuite, uh, a really luxurious and spacious ensuite here, and still have sufficient space within this room. But then we add little touches, uh, for example, that we've got the spotlights, uh, we've got the sockets on the walls with USB charging points, um, and all of these things mean it just, again, feels nice. But little tricks, for example, is the door handles we use are nice and chunky. So when you're holding the handles and you're opening the handles, it just feels like a quality product. And also on the carpets, although it's a nice, thick carpet we have a very thick underlay underneath so it feels very nice as well as i said people are generally spending maybe 10 15 minutes in the house before they're making a huge buying decision and one of the other things you may not notice in this room actually is the ceilings have been lowered the ceilings have been lowered so we can create more headroom in the space above us for the attic room but because the way it's designed and it's done it doesn't really feel that actually that the ceilings been lowered so now we're in the attic room, the loft room that's been created. So this, this was just void space on the house originally. And we've got a huge dormer at the back of the house over there. And we've got the Velux window at the front and we've got another bathroom just behind us over here. So quite a spacious space up here. So let's run through the numbers and talk about the numbers and also how we got this deal and how we managed to make so much profit. So originally this property was offered to me by a friend of mine who's a, a sourcer as well and has deals coming across uh, his desk. And he rang me up about this particular property, told me where it was. I was round there very quickly. We had a look at it. We agreed a deal very quickly, 150,000 pounds, which is what they wanted. It was a really tired property. So you haven't already seen the video that we did before we started, make sure you have a look at that. And so my intention straight away was property like this, we can add substantial value because it's in a very good location. And although it's in a very poor state right now, there's only room for improvement, right? So we purchased 150,000 pounds, but I had to pay 10,000 pounds as a sourcing fee to get it in the first place. Now, when we talk about sourcing fees, people talk about 2,000 pounds, 3,000 pounds. That's a significant amount of fee to pay for a house like this. Well, actually, when you look at the profit we've made in the context of the deal, it isn't too bad uh, at all. So our spend on this has been the region of about 130,000 pounds, and it's taken us some time to get it done because we've been delayed uh, during lockdown, not being able to get materials. That's caused us quite a few delays. We'd like to have been sold and exited out of this by now. So uh, it's now just on the market for offers in the region of 425,000, and I expect for it to be sold and wrapped up very quickly because there's very few properties like this on the market and when they do come up they get snapped up very quickly so if you do the sums you'll see there's more than a hundred thousand pounds of profit there significantly more we've also got investor cost to consider so the investors that have been in this project that have funded the deal for me because there's no bank finance on it so private investor money so even after paying them and the sourcer and our uh, other costs there's a substantial profit in this deal. So when you see a property like this, this is just an ordinary house that was a little bit tired, but it's not necessarily about the price you're paying for it, it's about what value you can add. People talk about buying discounted properties, buying BMV properties. So this wasn't necessarily a BMV property, it was tired, it needed quite a bit of money spent on it, maybe a little bit of BMV, but most of the value has been created by what we've done to the property. 
So in this market right now where there's very few BMV deals, that's where the focus should be. The focus should be where the value can be added to deals. So look, I hope you're finding this useful. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you would do differently in a house like this. If you are preparing it, if there's any suggestions you've got, I'm always willing to listen. We're out in the back now, and isn't it amazing how different this house looks from the last video? So I just wanna say thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos, and I'm looking forward to doing more for you. Just let me know what is it about this video that you liked? What is it you'd like to see differently? Give me your thoughts. Make sure you put it in the comment section below and hit that like button. Make sure you've also subscribed, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.